What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Uh, I'm gonna show you my toolbox, take you for a tour through it, and show you all the tools that I use day in and day out. Um, this is an Epic Series box. It's gloss black with atomic green trim. They brought this out in October, I think, of 2020. They had uh, the green and the orange color combo going on. By the toolbox, you get a sweet floor jack with it. Um, so it's a uh, 68, I can't remember the serial number on it, but it's 68 inches long by about 28 inches deep. And it's a fairly tall box, so about six feet, so. Decently tall, um, starting off with the top. I did clear all the junk off of it for the most part, but um, yeah, it's decently tall. I just throw stuff up here. It's too tall to have a laptop. Maybe in the future I would like to get a TV mounted to the lid so I can have some diagnostic stuff going on. Stuff a computer into one of the drawers and maybe have a wireless keyboard and mouse. I've had that set up before on some of my older boxes, but anyhow. Um, we'll just start off with the, uh, the top chest, the top drawer. So this is just a pile of wiring that I had. Uh, threw it in the top drawer. You may ask me, how do I get a hold of all these wires? Well. Believe it or not, had a bunch of parts cars with body harnesses and engine harnesses, and I did take those apart just to have a collection of wires for my own sake. And also, you get into a bunch of wiring repairs. It's nice to have the right color and uh, obviously the right gauge. These also have a bunch of terminals on the ends of them, so it's nice to actually just be able to deep in a connector and plug it right in and go. Moving on, door number two has nothing in it right now. It's vacant. Not too sure what I'm gonna put in there, but for the most part, you know, tools move around in the toolbox. There is some dedicated drawers that are, that are gonna stay um, the same, but um, moving on. Got screwdrivers and picks um, and some other stuff. So just a bunch of snap-on screwdrivers and picks. Um, I don't know the technical name for these. I call them spoons. I love these things. They work great for taking apart connectors. Um, punch. Are they O-ring installers? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I use them for connectors and they work great. Bunch of junk screwdrivers. I started off, obviously started off with uh, cheap tools and worked my way up. I didn't just jump right into the snap-on game. Started small, worked my way up. Got a bunch of, uh, yeah, that's for um, oh, spark plug gap tech, or spark plug gauge, I don't know what the technical name for it is, but it's to check the spark plug gap. Um, I use this all the time, believe it or not, picked it up at a yard sale for like a dollar, and it's just a bunch of uh, Torx bits, but I like how they're all in one unique spot, even though I have a full set of blue point Torx bits. I tend to always go to that for some reason. Torx bits are hard to like guess the size. Yeah, exactly. So it's nice to just to grab this, especially if you're going to do some interior job. Set of files. You use the files when you're doing some metal working. Nice to have. Moving on. This is the electrical drawer. As you can see, it's a friggin' disaster right now. But sometimes it's organized. You know how it goes. Get working. Start throwing stuff in the drawer and next thing you know, it looks like this. Got a snap-on scan tool. It's the uh, Solus Edge. Does the trick. Nothing fancy. Um, this overly priced digital PBOM. One nice feature I like about that is it Bluetooths to your phone. So if you're doing uh, checking for a draw or something like that, you can have it hooked up by the battery and go and uh, use your phone and watch the screen when you're inside the car and plug and stuff. Um, power probe. These are wonderful. These wire strippers made by Mac, one of the few Mac tools that I actually have. Those work great. Um, oh yeah, if anybody knows what this is, comment. If you know what it's from, comment. There's a hint. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if somebody can actually guess what that's from. Anyhow. Um, yeah, just a bunch of electrical stuff in that drawer. Moving on. Some air tools. Missing, uh, 
Some air tools are at the other shop, but um, some 12 volt drills have 20 volt drills as well, but they're at the shop. Um, nothing special really. A variety of different things. Um, I've got uh, air hammer attachments in this drawer. This one's nice, you can throw sockets on the end if you had swollen wheel nuts and you don't wanna use a hammer, you can just drive them on with the uh, impact gun, or the uh, air hammer. Texas twister set, which turns your air hammer from a, a driver to a puller. It's kind of neat for taking out axle shafts and all kinds of stuff. I've made different attachments for hooking onto the ends of seals, things like that. I like making custom tools. Just get the job done. Um, this is my, if I don't know where it goes, I just throw it in drawer. Uh, so a bunch of random garbage ends up in this drawer. You just have random bolts, wheel locks that come off, a bunch of deodorant. Yep, 0% aluminum. Because, you know, <laughs> who wants aluminum in their deodorant? <laughs> Not me. We got a, a mirror here with some welding spatter, so it's now braille. It's a braille mirror for blind people. <laughs> uh, just a bunch of junk in that drawer, stethoscope, trim tools. It was originally an interior drawer for doing trim panels and stuff like that. Another junk drawer, which needs to be organized, but you know, you, you, you can never go wrong with having a junk drawer. You run into so many times, it'll be Saturday or Sunday and you need some random bolt or something that you break or some clip that goes flying and you can't find it that's the door to go to this drawer had some uh, measuring equipment in it i've misplaced my digital caliper i got a couple mics actually i did have a couple mics i gave one to my apprentice um just a measuring tool feeler gauge some other random things. This is just a bunch of paperwork. Moving on to the bottom box, we've got sockets and extensions and ratchets and fork wrenches. And I keep my drill bits in here. This is a blue point set. Um, yeah, this, this blue point set of Torx and inverted Torx and hex keys is amazing the price of it and lifetime warranty all that good stuff I, I love this set I use this set all the time like I say I will end up using my the hand uh, hand set that, of Torx bits but for the uh, stick on the end of the electric gun great set to have a bunch of bigger sockets for the truck stuff um, and axles yep axles one long extension just a bunch of sockets right half inch deep and shallow three quarters or th uh, three eighths quarter inch and adapter these are three quarter step them down right? i don't have a three quarter inch wrench but use an adapter gets the job done wrenches these are fantastic wrenches made by Matco. Um, slim profile, extra long for lots of leverage. They're ratcheting, flex head. The only thing that kind of sucks is they don't have reverse. So if you're not paying attention, you can get yourself into a shitty situation. <laughs> but uh, crow's feet, I just got these not too long ago. I really didn't want to spend the money on them, but yeah, they're nice to have. And when you need them, you need them. The snappy ratchet wrenches. Plank drive. Yeah. Best wrench out there. Yeah. And like, I don't worry about beating them up because they're all lifetime warranties. So you just use them, use them to use them, you know? What are these called? Um, um, those are um, it's for line, line, line wrenches. Line wrench, right? Yeah. As you can see, the the 10, what is it? The, the 10 and 12 combo is missing. <laughs> I think that's at home. These wrenches I end up made, I made those. Just some uh, yard sale wrenches, chop them off, throw them in a piece of pipe and weld them up. Good for doing alignments. You gotta get those jam nuts, get the jam nuts broke free. Oh, those wrenches. Yep. 
Um, a lot of wrenches before I bought the crow's feet, I would just get junk wrenches and just cut them. So I got a bunch, bunch of chopped up wrenches. You gotta do what you gotta do. Big pry bar. Yep. Move cars with it. Little pry bar. Straight edge. Some pliers. Basic set of pliers this is what I started with. And then moved on. Um, I've been through a few sets of ice grips. It's always nice having a fresh set. But um, there's a bunch that are at the other shop. So I'm working on the project car, which we'll get into some videos later on that one. Um, most recent purchase are these flush cutters. Oh, flush cutters are the best. Yeah. These are, these are amazing. Um, nothing too crazy. Got some long, long needle nose pliers made by SunX. Great, great pliers. Only I've ever, ever had one break on me and it was warranty, so gotta like that. And this is snap on speed drawer, which actually has a bunch of grid pieces that screw down to the bottom. I don't have these screwed down right now, but I did have um, variety of sandpaper in there just for doing uh restoring headlights stuff like that body work which i don't really get into too much but for my own stuff i would just have a nice assortment of sandpaper it's nice to have but yeah i should have my junk drawer almost laid out in here but you don't I haven't quite got around to it so it is what it is right now we got the real estate this is a tap and die set and a bunch of leftover parts or stuff that was going to get tossed out that wasn't gaskets wasn't uh bad yeah so first set of uh drill bits that i started with the no longer drill bits pry bars we got uh some rubbing compounds and stuff this I love this stuff. So for as far as cleaning the toolbox goes, using the Lucas Slick Mist. Mm. Smells so good, smells like bubble gum. Um, I did get some of this with the box when I bought it. I don't mind it, it works good. But I just can't get over how good this stuff smells, so I use it all the time. This is just full of junk. Toilet paper, necessity, right? Yeah. Gloves, ratchet straps, a bunch of books from school. Nice to have the information just in case you ever need to go back and check something. Random sockets in here. Good to have in case you ever get in a situation where you just need to weld the socket on something to give yourself something to drive off of. Use quite a bit of those actually. This is probably like half full and I've gone through a whole bunch. Just extracting things instead of trying to weld a nut on there. Usually just drive a socket on it and then weld it from the inside. Just cheap sockets, pick up like a bucket of sockets from a yard sale for like a couple dollars, right? Hammers and punches, dead blow, rubber mallet, uh, cheap punch set. It's blasted me a long time, I've had it for years. Probably broke one, maybe two, but yeah, they get worn down. Sharpen them up on the uh, bench grinder, good to go. Last but not least, case drawer. The case drawer. Got a bunch of things in here. Brake Compression press. tester. Yeah. Brake caliper wine back kit. That's a nice set actually for Matt Cody. You got the same one. Yeah. Um, soldering gun, which I never used. That was a terrible purchase. What a mistake. You got a new one up here. Yeah. Um, brake flare kit. And I think this is for, yeah, doing alignments. Those hook on to uh, those adjustment sleeves. They work way better than uh, using the channel on. Don't do that. And um, yeah, vacuum filler for doing coolant. I have a video on that for doing the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, vacuum brake bleeder. Love using that thing. Works great. Saves you so much time. You get a couple of guys in the shop that have them and you're running like one on each wheel and you'll suck the brake fluid through in no time. Probably like a couple minutes. 
But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments.